Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So today I'm going to be planting some bunching onion. I had planted some onions right here a couple weeks ago and today I'm planting bunching onions in this bed. So I've got diagon radish, I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, here and there, okay? And I want to line the beds with these bunching onions. Now they don't they're not real big, they don't get super big, so I don't think they're gonna impede in the growth of the radish, but I'm gonna put them right along the edge. Bunching onions grow a little different than regular onions. You actually wanna put them together, and they grow kinda of in uniform, at least from what I'm reading. This one is a longer growing, and I think this is the one that I'm gonna put over by this edge. And what I wanna do is put one on that edge, and then put another row of onions on this edge right here, and that way it kind of, um, onions are really good at keeping away pests, so it'll keep anything coming in from this way. Um, they won't like it. They just don't like the smell for some reason. I mean, I don't, I'm sure it's not perfect, but it helps from what I hear. It's just kind of a natural way of keeping pests away. So I'm gonna do this different. Um, I, they are bunching, so you wanna keep them in bunches. So first, let's get the, the evergreen. This one's called the evergreen. So it says here you want to put 10 seeds in each hole. They do like to grow together though. Well, you're just making holes. So I've got a little pencil here. I'm just making a hole and I'm gonna a good pinch fill that hole up and then we're gonna give it a little bit of room. Let's see how it does not say how far apart, but I can't imagine they have to be super far since they are bunching. They like to grow kind of together. If you haven't seen onion seeds before, there they are. They're like little black specks of dirt almost. You know what? I think the best option here is just to make a whole bunch of holes and then come through and fill them. Now by the time these, since they're 120 days um, to maturity, by the time these start getting bigger, I'm gonna be pulling these radishes out. Um, the radishes are pretty quick growing. In fact, I already have a little seedling right there. So that row is planted. All right, so we're gonna put our Warrior brand bunching onion. And what I'm doing here is I, I just don't know what's gonna grow best in my area. So I got a couple different kinds. I'm gonna test these two. Hopefully they do grow. You know, this is fall, so we're in October, so it is October 19th. Hopefully you can see that there. We're late fall. Now where I'm at, it's 90 degrees today, but it, our first frost is usually November, uh, mid to late November. And so, you know, I don't, I know that these are gonna hit the frost before they're ready to harvest, but that's onions for you. I mean, you can, you can plant them in the fall and then they'll die back but those bulbs will stay in the ground and we don't get really heavy frost, so it shouldn't kill them. And, uh, and then next year, once they come back, they'll be strong and ready to really, you know, give you bigger bulbs. Now that's regular onions, so maybe, maybe it's different. With the bunching, you can kind of get them as greens. So they're nice uh, for like salads and stuff and you know, the green onion part. Hey hun, do you want to plant a couple? All right, Abby came out and she wants to plant a couple. So I just, hey, I just put some in this hole. Do you want to put, get, grab a good pinch? Quite a few, like 10 in one pinch. Let me see those. Just get in one finger, one pinch, get quite a few. How? Like just pinch, pinch up as much as you can. Put them in right here in that hole. All of them? Yeah. I go to throw all of them in there. Yep, put them in. Good job. No more All right, let's let's do let's do this hole. Get quite a few. Put them in. No, no, you don't have to put them in that hand. Just drop straight into. Put a couple more in. Right in that hole. No, no, this one. All right, and we uh, we got one more hole here. Drop a couple in. I put more. Hey, put those two. Can you put them in this hole right there? No. Nope. Good job. 
Wet. Wet. Yeah, it is. It is wet soil. All right, so we're going to cover it up. Do you want to cover it or do you want me to? Hmm? You like yeah. doing this? Me? Each hole, just cover it up like that. There you go. It's gross. It's gross. That's dirt. It's wet dirt. That looks like, yeah, like a worm. Yeah. So we get these little white moths, as you can see, floating around here. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but... They've been laying, uh, you know, coming up and landing on this bed. And so those are what produce the little cabbage worms, cabbage loopers that were plaguing my cabbage over here. So, you know, I want to get ahead of it and plant these to keep them away because they don't like alliums, any, any alliums. So hopefully this will help and it'll keep them away. But also it'll give us the ability to be able to harvest this for salads and have extra crops. So it's kind of a win-win on both sides and then of course like anytime you're water, you're planting seed just make sure you give it a healthy water oh we've got little sprouts this one is the warrior this one came up first and you can see they're bunched so this being being a bunching onion they're all in little bunch sections coming up. The center sprouted first, the ends are waiting for some reason, I'm not sure why. However, I don't have any sprouts yet in this one. This is the evergreen and they haven't come up yet. That doesn't mean that it's a bad, oh, wait, no, we got little ones, so there we go. Well, every single one of these warrior bunching onions came up, bunches every two inches or so, three inches, where I planted them. However, I do not have as good germination on these. These were the, the evergreens. So I'm not sure what that's about. And even here, I mean, I've got a couple popping up right there. There's three. I planted 10 in every hole, just like I did in those. And there's one bunch that looks like maybe about 10 in there, but the rest, it's like two, three, five, some of them. So I don't know. This might not work for my area. Just might not, might be too hot or too cold. I'm not sure what it is. Those sure did come up. Absolutely came up and theirs are doing well. So I'm going to say from now on, I'll be planting these warriors. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe. And also check out some of my other videos. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.